ever feel like you're just drowning in information these days? Oh, absolutely. Like you spend all this time trying to cram stuff in your brain yeah. and then it just vanishes. Like it never even happened. It's the worst. But what if I told you there was a better way? Oh, I'm listening. A way to actually make learning stick. Now you've got my attention. That's what this deep dive is all about. Anki. Anki. Anki Masterclass. Oh, I've heard of that. Really interesting stuff. It is. Yeah. We're going to break down why this app... Oh, which is free, by the way. Right. Completely free. Why it has students and just lifelong learners rating. Yeah, I've heard really good things, especially for memorization. It's credible for that. So we're talking no more passive reading, highlighting entire textbooks. Right. None of that highlighting that just ends up on your bookshelf. Exactly. This is about really engaging your brain yeah. and actually using what you learn. Love it. But, you know, before we get into the how-to, sure. let's talk about why Anki. Yeah, good point. Because there are a ton of flashcard apps out there. So many to choose from. So what makes this one the supposed holy grail? Right, get to the good stuff. Well, it all comes down to how Anki works with your brain. Okay. Not against it. I like the sound of that. So think of your brain like a muscle. Hmm. The more you challenge it, the stronger it gets. Right. <laughs> Anki uses these two principles, two key principles. Okay. To basically flex those mental muscles. Active recall and spaced repetition. Oh yeah, those are big ones. Yeah, have you heard of these? I have, yeah, they're pretty popular in the learning science world. Right, so active recall, it sounds a little intimidating. A little bit, yeah, like a pop quiz or something. Yeah, exactly, like my brain isn't ready. Yeah, like you're being put on the spot. But it's actually not scary at all. No, not at all. It's just about retrieving information from your memory. Yeah, instead of just passively rereading your notes, it's forcing you to really search for the answer. Right, so it's like instead of just recognizing information, right. you're having to pull it out of the filing cabinet. Yeah, you're making your brain work for it. Exactly. Which is a good thing. Which is what makes it stick. Exactly. So then, spaced repetition. Okay. Is this where Anki gets all futuristic on us? Yeah, does it read our minds or something? Something like that, right. Yeah. Okay, so... You know how you can cram for a test? Oh yeah, we've all been there. And you feel like you've mastered the material? You're on top of the world. But then, a week later... Poof, gone. It's gone. Like it never even happened. It's like my brain has a self-destruct button for information. The dreaded forgetting curve? That's it. It gets us every time. So spaced repetition. This is where Anki really shines. It combats that, right? Exactly, it's like its secret weapon. Okay, so how does it work? So you study a flashcard, right? Right. And you rate how easy or difficult it was. Was this a piece of cake or was this hard? Okay, yeah. And Anki's algorithm uses that feedback. So it's personalized. It is. It really is to determine the optimal time. It's interesting. To show you that card again. So it's like Anki's this personal trainer for your memory. Exact. Scheduling those review sessions at just the right time to maximize what I'm learning. That's a great way to put it. Okay. Wow. That's really cool. It really is a game changer. So I'm starting to see why people love this. Yeah. Anki has a very devoted following. It's more than just clever scheduling though, right? Right. Absolutely. What else is there? Anki's power, it's really about its flexibility. Oh. And how adaptable it is to, you know, your own learning. It's not one size fits all. No, no, not at all. There are so many ways to customize Anki. Really? Yeah. It's almost like having like your own custom made learning platform. Wow. Okay. And the best part. What's that? It's free. Free. Okay. There's got to be a catch. I promise you there's no catch. What's the trade off? Anki is open source. Okay. Which means there's this whole community of people. Right. We're constantly making it better. Oh, cool. Like adding new features. Yeah. New features, add-ons, improvements, you name it. So I get like all the benefits. Yeah. Without the price tag. Exactly. Okay, that's amazing. But how does it how does it actually work in real life? Yeah. You know, I'm picturing like yeah. I'm so used to flashcards, like the paper ones. Right. The ones you lose. Yes. They get lost all the time. Yeah. How does Anki like how do I use it? So picture this. You're on the train. Okay. You're about to meet up with a friend. And you realize you cannot remember Oh no! The capital of France It's happened to me before, it's so embarrassing With Anki, you just whip out your phone Right Do a few flashcards Okay Boom, you're a geography whiz I love it Ready to impress So it's on my phone Anki syncs across all your devices Oh, very cool Phone, tablet, computer So it's always there Always there That's awesome, no more like frantically writing notes in my Maybe planner Maybe more notepads Okay, I'm sold. Yeah. But can it handle more than just basic facts? Oh, yeah. Like, what about... What are you thinking? Medical terminology or, you know, advanced calculus? Anki can do it. 
Really? It's very versatile. So let's say you're trying to memorize okay. the different parts of the brain. Okay. You could create a basic Anki card. Okay. With like the name of the part on one side, right. the function on the other side. Simple enough, but my anatomy textbook is very complex. Well, that's where these different card types come in. Okay. Instead of just basic front and back. Right. You can do reverse cards, image occlusion. Wait, 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 back up. Those sound really interesting. Ah. Reverse cards, image occlusion? So reverse cards are like uh. flipping the script on the traditional flash card. Okay. Instead of just recognizing the answer, right. you have to come up with the question. Oh, interesting. So it's like a real... So you're having to think about you're it. You're really working those memory muscles. <laughs> Double the learning. Really what was image occlusion? So stuff. that's a great way to learn visual information. So let's say you're studying a diagram okay. of the human heart. Okay. You can selectively hide different parts of that diagram. And then quiz myself. And then you quiz yourself. Exactly. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, you're basically creating a puzzle for your brain. I like that. That's way more engaging than just like <laughs> staring at a static image. Way more effective. That's really cool. And these could be used for anything. Anything. New language, historical dates, anything you want to learn. Wow, that's impressive. Aww. Okay, that's incredible. So Anki can really do it all. It's really impressive. But now I'm imagining myself just drowning in a sea of digital flashcards. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from. How do I not become a slave to this thing? It's all about working smarter, not harder. Okay. Anki should enhance your learning, not take over your whole life. Right, so it's a tool. Exactly, just a tool. Okay, but how do I find that balance? Like, sure. I could already see myself going overboard making cards for everything. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Yeah, too much. It's easy to get carried away. Right. One of Abdal's key points is that it's about quality over quantity. Okay. It's not about cramming like every single piece of information onto one card. Right. You really want to think about concise, focused cards. So less is more. Exactly. Think of each card as like, a mini lesson. Okay. Not a random fact. And you know, wow. Aki's algorithm is your friend. Right. Right. We talked about that. It's going to space out your reviews, optimize that learning. You're not going to get overwhelmed. Okay. Good to know. Because I do feel like I can get overwhelmed pretty easily. You're not alone. What about those moments when you just hit a wall? Yeah. And you just like cannot wrap your head around a concept. Happens to the best of us. Does Anki have anything for that? Anki's power really comes from how customizable it is. Oh. You know, I mentioned the Anki community. They're always coming up with new things. Constantly creating new add-ons yeah. that can make your experience even better. Add-ons? Tell me more. So let's say you're struggling with a term, right? Okay. Instead of like stopping what you're doing, going to look it up. Right, right. You can have a pop-up dictionary right in Anki. Oh, wow. That's convenient. Instant clarification. No more like 10 tabs open. Exactly. No more getting lost in the internet abyss. Okay, are there any other add-ons that you think like yeah. really enhance the experience? There are some that can actually make Anki like a game. Oh, fun. Yeah, you can track your progress with heat maps. You can... I love a good visual. Yeah, really see how consistent you're being. Okay, cool. There are even ones that can help you optimize your review speed. Wow, okay, what about pre-made decks? Yeah, a lot of people ask about those. Are those legit? Should I use them? Pre-made decks can be really, really valuable, yeah. especially for subjects that have a lot of established content. So like medical terminology, you're saying? Yeah, medical terminology, legal jargon, history timelines, things that... Things that don't really change. Yeah, exactly. They can give you a really big head start. So it's like a shortcut. They are, but they're a starting point. Okay. Don't be afraid to take those pre-made decks and make them your own. So I can tweak them. Absolutely. Add your own notes, delete things that aren't relevant, yep. even change the wording of things. So you're really taking ownership. You got it because at the end of the day, Anki is just a tool. Right. A very powerful tool. It is. But it's up to you to use it well. This has been so eye-opening. Glad to hear it. I feel like we've really only scratched the surface of what Anki can do. Oh, there's so much more to explore. But I think, you know, this is a great starting point. Absolutely. For anyone who's ready to, you know, kind of dive into the world of Anki. Yeah, get those memory muscles working. Exactly. So hopefully we've sparked your curiosity. I think we have. And we've given you the tools to get started. There you go. And just remember, you know, it's not just about memorizing a bunch of facts. Right. It's about understanding them, applying them. And making that knowledge your own. Exactly. Now go forth and learn.